हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू अवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डिटेल्स अबाउट द टिल्ट सेंसर द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिटेल्स अबाउट द अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर बिफोर गोइंग टू सी द डिटेल्स अबाउट द अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर वी हैव टू नो वट इज अल्ट्रासोनिक वेव्स ओके नाउ लेट सी द साउंड वेव्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री टाइप्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दे आर फ्रिक्वेंसीज दे आर नेमली फर्स्ट वन इज द इंफ्रासोनिक वेव्स द साउंड वेव्स ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी बिलो ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स इज नोन एज द इंफ्रासोनिक वेव द सेकेंड वन इज audible sound waves the sound waves of the frequencies 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz are audible sound waves and third one is ultrasonic waves the sound waves of frequency above 20 kilohertz is known as ultrasonic waves that means the sound waves are broadly divided into three types first one is the sound waves below 20 hertz is known as infrasonic wave the sound sound waves between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz is known as the audible sound waves these are the audible sound waves and the sound waves about 20 kilohertz that means this about 20 kilohertz these waves are known as the ultrasonic waves okay the ultrasonic waves are produced by various techniques one of the popular technique is by using the converse of piezoelectric effect okay now let's see what is ultrasonic sensor an ultrasonic sensor is an instrument that measures the distance to an object using ultrasonic sound wave the ultrasonic sensor is a transceiver module that means it contains transmitter plus receiver in it this is the transceiver module of ultrasonic sensor is shown in which one is transmitter and another is receiver in a single module it transmits high frequency ultrasonic waves of frequency greater than 20 kilohertz it intercepts the waves reflected by an obstacle at the transmitter the electrical signal converted into ultrasonic signal and at the receiver the electrical signal again converted into the ultrasonic waves now let's see the working principle of the ultrasonic sensor an ultrasonic sensor works on the principle similar to the working of radar or sonar ultrasonic transmitter transmits sound waves of high frequencies which bounce around the space and return back to the sensor the return waves are received by the ultrasound receiver and converts it into the electronic signal for further processing that means in ultrasonic sensor the transmitter of ultrasonic transmitter transmits the ultrasonic waves in space whenever any object comes around in the path of this transmitted wave these waves are reflected by this object and the reflected wave are detected by the receiver of the ultrasonic sensor i hope you all understand the working of the ultrasonic sensor let's see once again the transmitter of ultrasonic sensor transmits the ultrasonic wave in the space when any object comes in the path of this waves these waves are reflected back and these are received by this ultrasonic sensors receives that means whenever there is object the waves are reflected back towards the receiver if the object is not present then the waves are 
goes back and there is no return path for them i hope you all understand the simple pr working principle of the ultrasonic sensor let's see more details about the ultrasonic sensor an ultrasonic sensor has two parts a transmitter that sends out a signal that human cannot hear that means our human audible range is 20 hertz 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz above 20 kilohertz the frequencies are known as the ultrasonic waves okay and these are transmitted by the transmitter of the ultrasonic sensor a receiver that receives the signal after it has bounced of nearby object the sensor sends out its signal and determines how long the signal to come back if the object is very close to the sensor the signal comes back quickly if the object is far away from the sensor the signal takes longer to come back if objects are too far away from the sensor the signal takes so long to come back or is very weak when it comes back that the receiver cannot detect that means by using ultrasonic sensor we can measure the distance between the sensor and the object okay the sensor sends a message back to the computer brick telling it the time taken for the signal to return then the brick uses this information to compute how far away the object is now this is the simple working of the ultrasonic sensor the transmitter transmits the ultrasonic waves these are reflected by the object and it is received towards the receiver i hope now you have clear idea about the working principle of this ultrasonic sensor now let's see the distance measurement using the ultrasonic sensor in order to calculate the distance between the sensor and the object the sensor measures the time it takes between the emission of the sound by a transmitter to its contact with the receiver that means this distance can be measured by using the time that takes the transmitted instant and by the reflected instant towards the receiver the formula for this calculation is d is equal to one half t into c where d is the distance t is the time and c is the speed of sound that is 343 meters per second approximately okay now let's see for example if a scientist set up an ultrasonic sensor aimed at a box and it took 0.0 to 5 second for the sound to bounce back the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the box would be that means if the scientist sets a setup and this ultrasonic wave comes back towards the receiver in 0.0 to 5 second then we can calculate the distance by using this formula d is equal to 1 half means 0 0.5 into t is 0 0.025 into speed of sound is 343 meter per second then we get the distance 4.2875 meters this is the very simple formula and the calculation we have seen here now let's see the advantages of the ultrasonic sensor it has sensing capability to sense all the material types this sensor is not affected due to atmospheric dust rain snow etc it can work in any adverse conditions it has higher sensing distance that is in centimeters and inches compared to inductive capacitive proximity sensor types it provides good readings in sensing large sized objects with hard surfaces 
the disadvantages of ultrasonic sensors are it is very sensitive to variation in the temperature it has more difficulties in reading reflections from soft curved thin and small objects these are the disadvantages of ultrasonic sensor there are many applications of the ultrasonic sensor some of them are listed below the ultrasonic sensors are used in liquid level indication distance measurement or ranging in medical ultrasonography in burglar alarms in non destructive testing in wireless charging etc i hope you all understand the basic working principle of the ultrasonic sensor let's see once again in ultrasonic sensor the transmitter transmits the ultrasonic waves okay if the object is present then these waves are reflected back towards the receiver and the time depending upon this path transmitting and receiving we can measure the distance between the sensor and the object okay the ultrasonic sensor is a transceiver type that means it contains a transmitter and receiver in it i hope you will understand all the basic things about the ultrasonic sensor thank you